I discovered really? something nice. Yes, it was good news down there. Mm -hmm. We want to take it a little tempered on the good news, but I know a lot of people are concerned about the fate of the monarch butterfly. So mm -hmm. I went down there. Didn't plan on this turning into a story, mm -hmm. but I had my iPhone with me, and I thought the news that I saw and heard at the Monarch Butterfly Preserve in uh, Pacific Grove was good enough to share. So here's what I saw. You know, I've had them land on my hat. They got me here long enough, you're gonna see them. Ah, there she goes. So you, you've had them land on you like that before. Oh yeah. Oh sure, he made that moment seem like no big deal. But Paul Mary knows better than just about anybody else. Having a monarch butterfly land on you has become an exceedingly rare privilege. In 1997, when they first counted all the Western monarchs, there were 1.2 million. In 2020, there were less than 2,000. If you just do the math on the numbers Paul gave us, that is more than a 99% decline. And it had a lot of experts concerned that by 2021, the Western monarch would be extinct. Now, how do you go from zero here in 2020 to 13,004 last year? Please tell us. Lots of whoopee. <laughs> That's one obvious part of it, but it's not the whole story. Turns out the last two years, the weather has been very favorable for these guys. Because of climate change now, it's either way too warm when they're not expecting it or way too cold when they're not prepared for it. In addition to that, we've unwittingly destroyed most of their habitat. They're sort of a poster child for uh, everything that's going on in the insect world. The bottom line on this is, if you can't find enough to eat because the wildflowers you rely on are gone because we put so much other stuff there, you're not going to be able to survive the winter. Paul, oh, what do you think? Anywhere. What do you think did that one in? Starvation. Yes. Starvation. That's here. The rumble from the people who are doing the, the counting is that the state numbers may be as high as 300,000, which would be a 50,000 plus improvement over last year. So another good year, but they're not out of the woods. So it is good news because we thought we were losing them for good two years ago. The numbers have come back, but here's the important comparison on this. Here's the graph, and this corresponds specifically to that one grove that sits in Pacific Grove. It goes back to 1997 since they've been keeping track. There were 50,000 butterflies in that one grove in 1997, 50,000. This year, there's about 16,000. You can see it's just about to show up. That's last year's, but this year's will be next to it. The trend is undeniable. So in the last 20 years or so, their populations have been plummeting. There's a lot of work going into why. Uh, development and loss of their habitat is a big one. But the thing that's changed the most in the last 20 years has been the weather and the extreme swings in temperatures. And there's a lot of research now pointing to that being the likely most concerning aspect of this. If you care about monarch butterflies at all, the Xerxes Society is an organization you should know about. They're leading the cause and raising the awareness on this and funding the research and trying to get as much concern across the state as they can. So check out their website. We'll have more on this coming up in the coming weeks when the official numbers come out because I, that was just happenstance. We're still waiting for all the official reports.